I heard it was good through the grapevine. I heard that you got a great mind. I don't think that we need to win. I did what they couldn't do. Guess that's why they mad at me. But what's up with your vibe, dog? Why she keep on adding me? Hey world, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Daisy May, and it's your name to say hey. And as you guys see by the title, today I will be buying some bundles. And this is the brand it is from Kelly J with an extension. And I'm really under the weather today. Under the weather, you know what I mean? And it came with a crunchy. Edge bread and a little hair clip. And then we have a 20 inch straight 5x5 five five inch closure and three bundles. We're going to put her goodie back in the bag. And I believe this is 24, 22, and 28. This is what we have. And I'm going to go ahead and get right next. Get right into the next clip. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys throughout the video. No, because I have to show you all these bundles. Like, look at this. It's so thick and full, all the way down to the end. I thought that's the fuck right, Kelly. Let's play with Kelly J. First thing first, you want to go ahead and mix your bleach and developer. And I like to use a blue hair dye with this. It cancels out the yellow tones and the hair. If you have never tried this, I think you should definitely give it a try when you mix your powder and your cream developer. Just put some blue hair dye in there. It cancels out the orange tone, so when you go in with your purple shampoo, your purple shampoo will color out the yellow tones and you'll have a nice color to where it's not like, I don't know, brassy. I don't like the brassy look. So we're going to go ahead and mix those together and then we're just going to put it at the bottom of the bundles. You guys will see. Let's go ahead and watch and do the same thing as me. And I didn't like the consistency of it so... I'm glad we need to put some more powder in there and then I'm going to go in with our clear developer. I just feel like it gives it the saturation your hair will need versus just the cream developer. And you just want to make sure that you brush through each bundle before applying bleach. And we're just going to bleach the end. Some people would call them the end, the tip of your hair. But that's what we're doing today. And this one down. You got it up. I hope this like camera quality is good. And if you're doing this at home and this is your first time, 
especially if you're doing it yourself and it's your first and time you just want to make bleach. sure that you turn your brush vertical vertical is straight up and down horizontal is straight across but you want to make sure you turn it vertical so your hair won't just have like a line of demarcation you always want to make sure that you flip it over and do the same thing that you did to one side you do it to the other side so that you can make sure every strand of hair will get the product on it. and I like to go in with my brush and just open up the hair and apply more product to the inside of the hair because you don't just want to apply the product to the top of the hair not in the inside in between don't be scared do not be scared so I'm just go ahead and do that to the next two bundles and I'll let you guys watch that oh yeah and the shortest bundle I went up a little a little higher and then the like the second to longest bundle i did it a little lower and then the longest bundle i'll do it lower than the other two so that it all fades in the same if you know what i mean so just make sure you guys keep that tip in hand too And this is what the bundles look like after letting it sit for 15 to 20 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and wash it out with my purple shampoo. These are the colors I use. It's H12 and the magenta and the L'Oreal high color. And y'all see what I'm doing. I'm mixing the colors off in a little bowl, mixing it with the developer, and now I'm going to put it in a bigger bowl. And this is going to give it the watercolor method it saves you so much time it actually takes i'm gonna say like 15 minutes versus an hour and 30 minutes if you're like full-blown color and bundles from root to tip like it saves you so much time and just watch what i do if you guys haven't ever tried this check it out and you want to do the closure before you do the bundle so that everything puts it at the same time and i did not bleach the closure before I added the color some people do that's just not what I like to do I feel like it makes my roots lighter than the rest of my hair All right, now we moved on to the bundles, and it's time to dip them bad boys in your hair color. You want to make sure you know brush it through like you would if it's watercolor. Do not add water. You do not need water to this, and you can add hair color to your hair while it's wet. It will still process. Like, this right here is so dope. Like, if you haven't tried, I feel like y'all should really try it. Like, and make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe so y'all can see more videos of what I do. Because I do stuff, but I do stuff differently. Like, not everybody works the same, and that's definitely me. And I'm always trying new stuff. Like, this saves me so much time, y'all. My arms would have been on effing fire like and after this you want to make sure that you cover it up with some foil so all of the, the heat can stay trapped in the bowl with the bundles and throw off to the side and i'm gonna start working on the closure yep i let the closure sit for i'm gonna probably say like 30 minutes 40 minutes and now we're gonna go ahead and apply our bleach and it's the same thing developer and um the hair dye and the bleach and this is what it looks like bomb dot fucking right, okay, give us a spin. make sure y'all like comment and subscribe turn on your post notifications and i'll see you guys in the next one